After a severe weather outbreak on Tuesday, we're seeing that strong storm system move away from our area, so a quieter weather pattern on the way, my friends. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Laresca with a look at your one-minute weather. Some wraparound clouds from the storm system will keep us under partly cloudy, mostly cloudy conditions for the first half of the day, and then we've got some clearing by the afternoon. Temperatures will only warm due to that northwest breeze into the 50s today, and at times it will be breezy, so make sure you've got your heavy jacket today. Temperatures ranging anywhere in the upper 40s around Livingston down to the mid to upper 50s, low 60s elsewhere. Overnight lows should dip somewhere into the 30s, so just above freezing about everywhere, but there could be some patchy frost, a light freeze possible Thursday and Friday morning. With very little change from day to day as temperatures should stay right around the mid to upper 50s. It'll be the weekend where we'll start to see some changes. By the weekend, a cold front develops over the Four Corners region, sending that frontal boundary in our direction this weekend. The highest rain chances will be on Sunday, now up to a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms. We'll see another round of brief heavy rain, unlike the last system, yesterday's system. I'm not seeing a high sign of severe weather potential. For this system, we will see some rain. One to two inches, I think, will be most common, but there could be those pockets, especially east of I-45, that pick up over three inches. Going into early next week, our wet and active weather pattern continues with a 30% chance for some wet weather Monday and Tuesday and some cooler weather as well as temperatures take another dip back down into the 40s Monday morning with temperatures hovering somewhere in the upper 50s during the afternoon. All right, that's a look at your forecast on this Wednesday. Thanks for watching.